doesn't look like the most appetizing lunch, does it? So I'm just about to design some packaging for the washi displayed stands and I've decided to protect them like this, not in a hard backing car, um, board. But this is what I had for the 5x7, which seems to be the perfect size for these stands. 5x7 uh, art prints that we had. So I'm going to just do them... I'm thinking maybe a scene with clouds actually and then just having the logo like here like catnip and then because the way it's like in the packaging it's a little awkward because if I have washi stands across here like my other packaging you know normally I have like coaster or mouse or whatever it's going to be cut off by bumblebee. For the keychains I'm going to do similar to how I do my coasters on a backing card like this. Actually that size is perfect, but I've just got Dean to order me A7. But now that I'm looking at it, this size is actually perfect for it. Uh oh, Dean, can we cancel that order? So this is actually A6, and I thought they were going to be too big. But, well, it's too big for this one, but pudding looks good at that size. So it's going to be half like that. So that means less packaging. And then it'll go in a cello. It'll go in a compostable cello like that. And then it'll have, like, my logo and stuff on yeah that's the perfect size and then it's not overly large packaging um so that's what i'm going to get to work on Um, I actually finished work yesterday without finishing the packaging for the new products. Also, I decided to walk in a little further across the beach because it's a beautiful morning outside. And then the fisher boats were all coming in and there was like this fisherman just like handing out fresh fish that he just caught and people were buying them. It was so fun. It was like being in a movie or something. It was really cute. It's always nice to just kind of take your surroundings in. I have got such a crusty nose. Honestly, it's really hurting when I smile and everything. I get it every time I get a cold, but I need to get to work on sending off for those packages. I've decided just to launch all these products on my Etsy store. It was meant to be with my live site. I don't want to delay it any further because the stock is just sat there. Um, so I might as well get it out on my Etsy store so Mike has orders to pack while we're away in the van and what I'm thinking is I need to take photos of them so I might actually print out the packaging and take photos of them with that but it will be waiting until the packaging comes so hopefully if I order it now and make that my priority of things to do today it should arrive by Monday at the latest. I still use Pomodoro, uh, this is the website I use homofocus.io I still use this for scheduling my day and I also have <laughs> my planner on the desk here as well and uh, so I'm gonna get to work on that because I like to do this in order and then I'm gonna get to work on packaging orders with the A6 size and although it goes up slightly um, it fits so I'm actually going to shrink it down to A6 uh, just to waste less packaging so I just put it in some packaging I already had just to test and I'm going to use this as reference when I illustrate
so I am super happy with how this packaging turned out. The packaging will be actually a little smaller. This one is like the perfect size. I wish I could get it printed like this because look at that. But this actually has bleed on a send to the manufacturer. So a little bit of this will be trimmed. But they have turned out so stinking cute. I can't actually believe it. Like look. How pretty they look and then on the back I've done like these affirmations or quotes so people can use these as art prints or they can put them in the planners and then I experimented with the keyring I sized down for all of these so this is A6 this is A7 and it's a perfect fit I didn't have the right cello and um, so I just had to use the cello just to see what it looks like and for photography purposes because I'll take a picture just of this because these won't arrive in time I was so happy with these I don't know if you can tell but this is probably one of the my favorite things that I've designed in a very very long time along with the key rings Oh my gosh, they're just so heckin' cute. The great decor pieces for desks. I'm honestly just so happy with them. Uh, by the time you're watching this, hopefully they will be live in my shop, in my Etsy store. So I'll leave a link to my Etsy store in the description. For now, I'm actually going to film an exclusive Patreon community challenge video. So every month over on Patreon, we do like a draw this in your style, an exclusive one. Uh, so I'm actually going to draw that and I'm also going to react to last month's entry. Entries. that is open for all patreon tiers so if you enjoy doing that sort of stuff and want to see my reaction to your entries come and join us over on patreon it really does mean the world the mashies over there help support do what we do and i couldn't do this without them honestly so i'm going to get to work on that and i'll catch up with you uh, but first of all i'm going to actually send that packaging off so we can get that in the post asap <sighs> Hello guys, it's currently Saturday. I'm back in the studio and I'm alone in the studio today. So I think this weekend I'm pretty much going to be working in the studio by myself because obviously we're going in the van tomorrow, like in two days. So I still need to take photos of all of the products. We actually got some really exciting things gifted to us by Niwa. I can't believe it. It's, it's still mad to me that like companies reach out to me and like gift me items. I don't think I'll ever get over that. I have been using Niwa, let me show you. Uh, right over here for ages. So they sent me some more photography lamps which is going to come in handy tomorrow. I'm going to take a few photos today to get on top of the product photography for the launch and tomorrow I'm going to model my own t-shirts. But I need to wear like a bra for it um, because they're like pastel coloured t-shirts. Anyway, before we get any further though, I do want to say a huge, huge, huge thank you to our wonderful sponsors as always today, Skillshare, for sponsoring this video. I am a Skillshare member myself and I love taking their online classes so if you don't know they have tons and tons of online classes for you to choose from and there is literally classes on so many different things you can imagine if you guys are watching this channel you're probably interested in things like art illustration they've got classes on product photography honestly there's something for everyone so if you want in it to cultivate those skills definitely check out those classes the things that I've actually been loving on Skillshare at the minute are more like lifestyle holistic -y type things productivity things. I've been slowly making my way through this productivity masterclass principles and tools to boost your productivity by Ali Abdel and one of the classes that really stood out to me was the myth of I don't have time. I absolutely have loved taking this course and I'm slowly getting through it whenever I have a moment or two to spare. So the first thousand people to click in my link in the description can get a one month trial of Skillshare. Thank you so so much Skillshare for continuing to support this channel. It really does mean the world. Anyway I need a quick break because I've been editing all morning. It's currently half past two on a Saturday so I'm going to head into town and get some lunch before we get to work on organising the studio. I've had my lunch and now it's time to rearrange all of the new goodies that we've got in stock. I have these up on the top shelf over here that we got from Zorro. I can't reach them, I need a chair. But basically just these cardboard like tray things i don't know what to call these these are what i use for my enamel pins uh, i've got some magazine files that i use for my washi tapes um bookmarks coasters so i'm gonna get some of these down and put my key rings in them um, and i just got those from zorro.co.uk so let's get organizing shall we <laughs>
just blown to the inside of my cap. I've spilled coffee all over it. This is mine. Good job, this is mine. I brought it from home to take a photo of, but I was carrying my coffee at the same time. Oh, I should have just wore it on my head. Oh, bloody typical, literally. I should be banned from drinking coffee on a morning because I spill it down my top. Like, no matter what, I spill it somehow. I don't know how I do it. But every time I do it. Anyway, good morning guys. It's Sunday. It's crunch time. I need to take photos of all the new goodies. Do I have loads? I don't think I have loads and loads like I normally do. Usually I have loads of stickers and loads of things to get through. But I feel like this time there is slightly less because things are like bigger. Like the washi stands. I've got two washi stands, four key rings, two t-shirts, two caps. And the flower clips. I still don't know what to do about the flower clips. I'm going to have to look into the Etsy uh, things and see if I'm allowed to sell hair clips because there is tons of hair grips on Etsy and also like supplies. So I'm going to read into that while I sip my coffee. I'm going to answer my emails and then it's time to take some photography. What I'm going to do for my t-shirts and stuff is I'm actually going to set up, set up the camera to record and I'm just going to kind of move around with the t-shirt on. And then what I'll do is I'll take a screen grab of me moving. It's just easier than me taking like a bunch of photos. Um, I find it easier just to do that. I've not really done it before for catnip, but I have done it before for like thumbnails and stuff. So why are all my icons really big on my, on my desktop right now? What the heck? I've just realised I've only got one earring in. That means I've lost this one. I really like these earrings. They're only from Primark, but... Oh, I've lost it. I wanted it for photos. Maybe I'll just have to be on this side all the time. It's just not my taste, is it? These lights are actually portable and you don't need a power source, I think you can charge them. These are so tiny but they literally pump out so much light. I'm thinking of like kind of photographing my t-shirts here. But this is them on, and this is it off. Like, look how dark that is now, what the heck? These are brilliant. You can also get batteries for them. You can buy them with batteries in, so you can have them not plugged in. How cool is that? But I've got DC ones, but nice and bright for me to take photos in. They also sent me this kit as well that came in a bag. Uh, these are great, these bags, aren't they? Okay, this is my super bright setup. I've got two of these bar lights which are absolutely great for putting over a table. It lights up this whole table. I also like on this switch there's a dimmable option so you can turn the LEDs down or up. And then these ones are great because you can tint it to yellow or uh, white so depending on kind of, let's turn this, you can see it kind of turns it like yellowy but I want it like more of a bluey tint. Whoa, it's so bright. So hopefully now the lighting should be really, really good as well. So I am going to take some photographs. Hello guys. So it's currently, you're probably going to hear <laughs> Matthew is currently in the studio turning the lights on and off that I've just unboxed. I'm just really impressed with the... <laughs> it's half past eight and I'm going to sort all those t-shirts out. I managed to get all the photography done. I edited all the photos. So I'll probably list them on my Etsy sort on my laptop while I'm in the van tomorrow um, or just before I leave. Oh, the sunset looks so nice. The sunset is so nice outside. remove the table here because we weren't utilizing these shelves properly and we were just using it as a dumping ground and this will be a space 
to put the t-shirts and stuff I still kept this one over here but this is going to be the new space and I might attach this to something else but I'm not sure what So I'm currently in the van. We're in the bottom of the country now. We're in Bournemouth and I totally forgot to finish the vlog. So I'm currently editing the studio vlog you've just seen. So I managed to get the products launched just before I went to it. I didn't end up putting those flower clips on my store, but all the other products are live. Those flower hair grips will be live on my own store when I finally launch it. Will we ever launch it? I just don't know at this point, but it's nearly there guys. So I hope you enjoyed this vlog and I'll see you all very freaking soon. Bye then. Thanks so much for watching. I love you. Goodbye.